it's all right. <laughs> I think he said good one. I just wondered what you did. Yeah, yeah, it's alright. Don't mind me, mate. No. no number plate on there, is there? And that's definitely the public highway. So yeah, welcome back to the channel, guys. Today we're here at the Wrights Food Group, here in Crewe. Have a look around this place. It's massive, it's on both sides of the road. Got their own fleet. As shown us there and all the buildings look very very new and very well sign written so yeah they uh, are certainly taking over this little cul-de-sac here it is a dead end oh they've even given them some body warmers look <laughs> with rights on the back very nice and we are right next to where they are doing the recycling the bailing of the cardboard and you can just see through the middle there got some workers oh we've even got a bin being emptied look at that we're spoiling you today so we can just see some remnants of the product down there on the website it says they are a bakery it's all right. <laughs> I think he said come on. Yeah, yeah, it's alright. Don't mind me, mate. Don't mind me. Thank you, mate, yeah. It's one of them forklifts where it can lift two pallets in one go. Very smart. But once again, no number plate. So a little bit from the website. Oh, we have another forklift coming down here, look. So from the website, it may have all started with just a humble pie, but today we are a leading food manufacturer offering a broad selection of products. To this day, we have remained a family business committed to our founding principles of quality, innovation and integrity. As one of the UK's leading food manufacturers, we supply a wide range of savoury products, cakes and ready meals to many of the UK's top restaurant brands so savory products cakes and ready meals mm. a couple of silos right next to the public footpath right puff flower they're making the most of it being publicly accessible giving it a little bit of advertising on there but they're not that big but they will hold a lot of flour for the pies and what do you think to that sign private parking right food group permit holders only unauthorized vehicles will be clamped a removal fee of 200 pound mm. and this is what it looks like from the front here on second avenue so they're keeping the appearance at a really high standard and they've all got very nice cars this guy didn't want to walk too far did he <laughs> in the range rover but they have got electric charging as shown us there so through this gate we can just see some of the trays that they put the pastry on to cool down I presume some plastic pallets in there that are generally used in the food industry as well and here we come to the staff entrance It's okay, mate. I'm not coming in. I'm just staying outside, just doing a little video. Oh, what's that about? About rights. Oh, what's it called? Just for me. You've not invited me on or anything, so I'll just stay outside. Who are you, who are you working for? Nobody. Why would you want to do a video of rights? It's interesting. Interesting? Yeah. Why, why, don't you agree? I do agree, yeah. 
Uh, is there any chance of um, having a look inside? No. Okay. So we can see there some of the uh, workwear that we're getting washed and collected. Probably Johnson Linen, who we've seen on a previous video. But yeah, I would have loved one of these panes of glass to let you see inside the production. Or even him saying, yeah, come on, come and have a look. So here we have Waste Water Solutions, Effluent and Site Services. I wonder what that does. Some sort of water treatment inside a container. And here we come to another backyard where more evidence of great recycling is going on. Bales of cardboard. We've got the guy emptying the bin with the forklift over there right now. And more of their own vehicles. A few silos and a few IBCs. Hello, my friend. And it's right next to a concrete plant. And I bet they would love to own all this land as well. And then they'd have exclusive use of this whole cul-de-sac. So they are still calling it Wright Pies Limited. Look, on the vehicles, I think we could possibly see in the back of one of these vans. Yeah, they've got the door open. And that's what it looks like inside. All refrigerated, is it? All refrigerated? Yeah. What, is it five degrees? Well, it's not there because I've just put back in. Just... Yeah, what is it normally, about five? Uh, it's about two degrees this, this runs at. Brilliant. Yeah. Yeah, brilliant, my friend. Never seen in the back of one of them. No. And you put your products all on the shelf so they're easily delivered, easily yeah. retrievable. <laughs> yeah, brilliant. Yeah, like everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, two degrees. That's uh, a nice temperature. So whilst these forklifts continue to buzz around and we're surrounded by staff starting and finishing their shift, we'll take David over from the public footpath and see what this place looks like from above. So as always, we've checked on drone assist. There are no flight restrictions in this area. So let's have a look at Wright's Food Group from above. So as you noticed, they have tried to take over the whole cul-de-sac to the right there and a massive area to the left lot. All the way to the left there. WH1, FDC1. So let's have a little look in the areas that we couldn't see. So we've got the loading bays down at the back there. And the lorries would come in through that gate there where we are standing right now. And as they make their way around the site, they turn here where there are two more bays. What logo is that? Skyco. But you'll notice it's still 
as clean and tidy, even in the areas that the public cannot see. So, credit to them. That looks like a separate business there. So let's jump over to their backyard that we had a look inside. We had that water treatment container here, supplied with lots and lots of pipe work. So it must be some sort of recycling option. Always split out, bales of cardboard, pallets neatly stacked, and lots of people working on the waste, which we spotted over in this direction as well. So there are no faults that I can pick with this company today. Let's have a little look around this hidden area. A forklift moving them double pallets again. The only thing bad, I guess, is the, the number plate issue. These forklift trucks are classed as work trucks. So if they travel within the neighborhood, and people say that's a thousand yards, then they don't need things like indicators, mirrors, seat belts, but they still need a number plate, insurance, and tax, which these clearly have not got. So it'd be nice to speak to somebody about that before we leave, see how serious they take it. But yeah, you get the gist. Let's get nice and high, get that 360 degree shot for Google Maps before we end this video. So there you are, Wright's Food Group. Your whole site in one shot. You're very welcome to print this off and use it. So you'll notice he's taking all the bits of tape off the cardboard to reduce the contamination. He is a professional, that's for sure. So how great was that? A very, very well kept site. Everywhere we looked, it's all immaculate, all uniform. Even the guy over here dealing with the waste. Being OCD with his containers and uh, stripping off all the tape. So yeah, the only thing I can find wrong with this one is the forklifts. So, shall we tell them? Oh, hello there. Um, is there anybody I can just um, report something to? Hi. Um, I'm a YouTuber. I just go around industrial estates and I do what's called an audit just for entertainment purposes for my video online, right? So I've took the drone over and everything and I've had a good look round. The only thing that I've found, and it will go on the video, so I'm just letting you know, is the forklifts, they don't have a number plate on. Um, I'll just show you the guidance to gov.uk on works trucks. Do you want to see it or? No, no, it's no, not no. as you need to speak to him. Oh, is it, I've is just it? pressed the intercom. Okay. Oh, have you? We've just come down. Oh, I do apologise. Um, I do apologise. I'll wait out here for the correct person. Oh, so you're coming down? Sorry. Oh, you're taking that up, yeah. I just wanted to pre-warn you before it goes public, that's all. But if I spoke to the wrong people, I do apologise. No, I'm sorry, no problem. Hello? Oh, hi, I'm just outside wanting to report something to somebody. What is it you need to report, Harry? Um, about the forklift use. Right, I don't know, who is it that you've spoken to? Um, what was your name again? It's Lisa. Yeah, I spoke to Lisa. Apart from that, I spoke to nobody. 
Right, so what is it? What is it you're here for? Sorry, I've gotten a bit confused. Oh, do you know the road that runs down the side of the building? Yeah. The forklifts are, are up and down that, aren't they? I've no idea, so what's... Yeah, OK. Yeah, yeah, I just want to speak to somebody regarding the forklift use. Right, I'll see if somebody can come out. Bear with me. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, there's somebody coming to you, OK? All right, thank you. I've just pressed the button. Yeah, absolutely. Can we help you? I've, I've just pressed the button. Yeah, you it's good to hear. Somebody who's in charge of the forklifts. Yeah. Okay. I, just, I just want to let you know something before it happens. Okay. Just a bit of an advanced notification of something regarding the forklifts. Do you want to hear it? Yeah, sure. Are you in a position where no, you could I'm make. Not okay, okay. I'll get you the person that is, then. Thank you. Hi, I can help. Hi. Um, I just wanted to let you know that in about a week's time, a video that I've just made down the road there okay. is going to be published online. Okay. And there's certain things that are a little bit negative. Yeah. So I just okay. want. We are aware of this. Um, yeah. I'm, it's only responsible of me just to let you know yeah, before fine. it goes online. Okay. So you're aware of it already. You don't need any information, no. 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 Okay. In that case, I'll leave you to it. Thanks. Right. Thanks for your time. Thank you. So, that was it. We mentioned to a few of the people as they came in and out of what we wanted to highlight. So she sort of uh, had a reply ready. So that's it. Let's see if they take any action and get these forklifts registered to be used on the public highway and see if they get insurance and tax. So that's it from Wright's Food Group pleasant overall and hopefully we can allow them to make a positive change without the council without the police without accidents and insurance companies getting involved so yeah take this opportunity do the right thing and i think you've got an amazing business if you have enjoyed that video do give it a thumbs up for me and i'll see you on the next one guys bye bye for now